Sunny Sonu of the United States National Marine Fisheries Service states that the tuna fishery is the most valuable fishery in Japan. It's no doubt that the tuna fish is one of Japan's most important commodities. However, it didn't always start this way. If we look at Japan's history regarding tuna, we wouldn't find much. Surprisingly, tuna was not very popular in Japan prior to the 1920s. In the 1930s, Japanese tuna exports were steadily increasing. Trade with the US and other nations was steady, and Japanese tuna exports had increased by 55.7% by 1938. After World War II, with the American occupation and the influx of Western culture into Japan, the Japanese started to eat a more westernized diet, and tuna started to become more popular. With the creation of new fishing techniques and innovations, such as longline fishing, Japan's consumption and trade in tuna rapidly increased. This increase in Japan's tuna fishing affected the environment negatively. Studies stated that from the 1980s, 3,500 seabirds died every year due to Japanese fishing. The Japanese overfishing of tuna became a huge problem for other nations' fisheries as well as conservationists. In the 1982 United Nations court case Australia vs. Japan, Japan was accused of failing to cooperate with the conservation of the southern bluefin tuna. The Japanese were overfishing, destroying the southern bluefin tuna population, as well as breaking conservation laws in the waters off of Australia's coast. Japan's overfishing caused Pacific bluefin tuna numbers to drop an alarming 96%. Today, tuna is imported and exported more than it ever was in Japan's entire history. It has easily become one of Japan's major products of trade, as well as foreign relations. Even in America, Japan is one of the leading importers of our tuna products. Though it has been a long and complicated history, the tuna fish has been, and always will be, a defining commodity for the Japanese.